what is going on YouTube is your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can back up any PS4 disc game and convert them into PKG then install them back on any jailbroken PS4. Keep in mind that this method is for 5.05 because that's the firmware that I am currently running on and also I would definitely recommend using a portable USB hard drive for this because it works a lot faster. Also depending on the size of your game if the game is large it's going to take a longer time to dump. Okay so let's go ahead and get started. First thing head over to the links in the description and you want to download PS4 dumper and also you want to download the fake PKG tools right here. So save them on your computer and extract them. So let's extract the fake PKG tools. Okay, now extract the dumper. Okay, and what you want to do is just create a folder with the name of the game that you're going to dump. So in my case, I I am going to dump Street Fighter 5. So I'll just do SF5. Okay. Now, when it comes to your your hard drive, your portable hard drive, this is mine right here. You want to right click, go to format, and then make sure that it's format to XFAT. So go ahead and click start and format it to XFAT. The reason being for XFAT is because XFAT allows you to transfer all large files to the hard drive. If you format it to FAT32, it will still work, but you have a limit of 4 gigabytes. So it's best to use XFAT. So after you format your hard drive, eject it from the computer and place it on the PS4. So on the PS4, as you can see, I have Street Fighter 5 in the PS4. And as you can see at the bottom right here, there's a disk image. So this de definitely tell you that I am using a disk in the PS4 right now. So let's go over and run the exploit. So go up to settings, press X, user guide, then user guide again. Now this is my exploit because I am using the ESP8266 um, Wi-Fi board. So your exploit might look a little bit different. So go over to the one that says dumper, press X. And as you can see it says done and we get the welcome to PS4 dumper and you should get another message. There it is waiting for game to launch. So press the PS button. Now go ahead and launch the game. And you will get a message saying that it start to dump. So there it is. You can leave the game like this or you can go ahead and press the PS button and the game will continue to dump to your hard drive. Also keep an eye on those messages until it's done. Okay, once it's done, the PS4 will shut down, so you have to go ahead and reboot the PS4 once it's done. Okay, so now the PS4 has rebooted, so let's go over back to the computer. So plug your R drive back to the computer, and let's continue. Okay, so as you can see, we now have some files on the hard drive and this is the one that we should pay attention to because it says complete if this does not say complete if it says dump then that means the game has not complete completely dump to your hard drive so this should say complete at all times so let's go ahead and copy all these over actually I'll cut it and let's paste it in the game folder that we created Okay, so once it's finished, go back out of the folder, the game folder, and you want to go inside the dumper folder, go, go inside Gen GP4, and then you want to run this application. So when you run it, you want to click right here to find the directory of the game we just dump and save on the computer. So click it and search for your game. 
and when you find your game make sure that you click the one that says app so click app press ok now press generate gp4 and that's done you and then click save gp4 and just save it the same place because it's easier to find right here so click save click ok close this down go back out go back out again and now we're gonna go in the fake pkg tools folder go all the way down to orbis pub gen run the program right here we're gonna click file open and search for the game that we just um, turn into a GP4 Street Fighter 5 and this is the file right here so click it click open then click build click select then just save it in the same um, Street Fighter 5 folder click save click build and just let it build okay so now it's done and even when it says warnings right here um, that doesn't mean anything really bad if you see like errors or something like that then you ha you might have to do it back over or um, Google those errors so mine was finished with warnings but no error so this is perfect so close it down close this down then exit the folder so go back and go in your your game folder and as you can see now I have SF5 full game right here and it's a PKG and it is 5.7 gigabyte so go ahead and cut and paste it on your hard, portable hard drive okay so once it's done go ahead and eject your portable hard drive and plug it to the PS4 okay so over on the PS4 now you want to log in because remember the PS4 was rebooted after it finished dumping the game so go over to the disk game that you have in your PS4 and you want to eject it once you eject the disk go ahead and press the option button go down to delete and delete this game icon once it's gone we want to go up to settings and let's go ahead and run the exploit so go up to user guide user guide go over to mirror plus hen and as you can see you're all set so press the PS button go back to settings go all the way down you will see debug settings go to game package installer and as you can see there is the game from our hard drive so press X and let it install okay so press the PS button now and as you can see there is the game and down at the bottom of the game there is no disk icon so let's go ahead and try the game out sometimes you will get um, error message saying that could not the save data has been corrupted so just press delete save data delete save data then the game will go ahead so here it is could not load the save data because it's corrupted press ok go over to yes to delete the save data you might get this a few times and there you go the game is now starting also keep in mind that you have to run the exploit every time you need to play these games so whenever you turn your console off you will need to run the exploit again and you do need internet connections to run the exploit after you have run the exploit you can go ahead and play these games so you can back up any PS4 games just like this and install them on your jailbroken console so if anyone out there found this video helpful please leave a like and also share this video you can also subscribe for more video so thank you for watching guys and i will see you in my next video